Yo, I'm back, and you can probably tell from the title why I'm back. Like, obviously, you can tell. If you haven't seen my video on, like, Rihanna and Fenty, uh, go check that video out. Uh, now, this is kind of like a continuation, because today on Vogue, I actually saw that the collection and all the pieces dropped on the website, so now I can actually review them. I've seen some of the looks, so some of them isn't, like, a first impression, so to speak, but... Yeah, I'll just say what my thoughts are on like all these pieces, essentially. Now, some background on my thoughts about this whole Fenty Rihanna brand. Um, if you're new or you don't know what my opinion on it is. Um, okay, I consider myself as someone that takes fashion extremely seriously. Um, I read loads of books and spend a lot of money on books. Some of these books cost like 50, 100 pounds each. Um, learning about designers and what they've done, how they've changed the fashion industry, um, how their designs have influenced others, that sort of stuff. And when you get into that sort of fashion and you really start to understand the greatness that some fashion designers have, um, it kind of irks you the wrong way when someone like Rihanna gets the opportunity to... Um, be the head designer of a new brand with LVMH and it's like she doesn't really have any design pedigree she worked with Puma but she didn't really do anything she was just a famous singer slash influencer who we all love her style is amazing no one can refute that her style is sick everyone I don't think anyone will tell you Rihanna can't dress I think Rihanna's probably the best dressed celebrity like yeah it's between Rihanna or ASAP, ASAP Rocky. Actually, no, Rihanna, Rihanna dresses better than ASAP Rocky. But um, yeah, so I'm not refuting, I'm not a Rihanna hater or anything, because I'm sure people would think that, but just from a design perspective, and when we talk about fashion design, fashion design skill, um, I kind of feel like it's dis... Let me not say it's disrespectful, because ultimately LVMH is a business and Rihanna has proven from Fenty Beauty that she can sell, she can push, she can push product, push units, and uh, I think in my last video, don't quote me on this figure, but I think she made like 400 and something million or 200 and something million um, in the first quarter for Fenty Beauty. That's how much it like made in revenue, which is crazy. So I get it. She draws sales, but I just feel like. LVMH is like a very, it's like the conglomerate that holds the key to the door for many fashion designers. They have a prize award for up and coming and emerging fashion talents. And it's, I see that conglomerate as a conglomerate that takes fashion seriously. But with things like this, it's just, you're watering down fashions. Like Rihanna's not really a designer. She's just a stylish person. She's not a designer and you can tell from this collection it's just crap it's rubbish but because people are such die hard fans of rihanna this collection is definitely going to sell out and all these like guys are going to be like, oh we stand we stand we love rihanna blah 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 um so yeah that's basically my thoughts on this collection in a nutshell it's just disrespectful like they were saying a lot of people are bringing up um um, against like what I said against my video they were saying why can't you just be happy for Rihanna she's like the first person of colour to have her own brand under LVMH and it's like I don't really care it's not about I don't care if you're white black green red yellow I just want to see good designers at the at the top like if we're talking about black designers there's so many female black designers there's Rachel Armandi who's been doing a lot of stuff she's black um, she's a really good designer. There's Grace Wales Bonner, who's a really good black designer. There's Martine Rose. I can go on. So it's like, it's not really about the skin color. No, just be happy for Rihanna. It's just, uh, it's just fashion's getting watered down. You've got Virgil Abloh at Louis Vuitton, and now you've got Rihanna having her own brand as well. It's just under LVMH. It's just. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. Okay, so going through the looks now, this first look is, there's kind of like this white coat. Uh, well, not a coat, it's more of a jacket. 
Um, it just looks like Balenciaga. I will actually put up the image when I first saw this image of what it reminded me of. It's their full winter, I think it was Balenciaga's last uh, collection. Not, not the, oh yeah, so they had a recent one. No, it's the one before that. It's the one where um, it was kind of in this building and there were these lights and stuff. I can't, I don't, my description is terrible, but yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Uh, the next look, it just looks like, it's just a shirt and then a coat. Like, it just reminds me of like a Vic Mon coat. It's like elongated sleeves. Um, yeah, and a cap. Yeah. This, however, is kind of more interesting, I think. Um, so it's just a shirt. There's nothing really too special about that. Um, the sleeves are baggy. We've we've seen that before. That's just basic streetwear. The trousers, however, kind of have this interesting design because of I don't know what that the term for when trousers are sewn like that is, but um, yeah, something you've definitely seen. But it's a good detail. Um, this is literally just reminds me of Vitmore. This is like a this is a fusion of Vitmore and Y Project, in my opinion. Uh, just my personal opinion though, by the way, like people shouldn't get so triggered about my opinions. This is just like personal opinions. Um, next is, yeah, just another white shirt, blouse type thing. It's just not feeling it, man. It's not my vibe. Yeah, back to the, we're back to the Y Project stash. Do you know what this actually looks like? This looks like, um... Gosha Rochinsky's new brand. What's it called again? I've forgotten what it's called. Comment down below what Gosha's uh, new brand is called. It just get my mind. But this looks like one of the pieces from it. Um, then this is a cap and a shirt. I see she's using, I wouldn't say like plus size models, but like not your generic ultra skinny models. Um, so that's interesting. Also going through the models. Okay, interesting. So she's got one black model, one white, one light, light skin. I see what she's doing. I see, I see what she did there. I see what she did there. Um, okay, yeah, shirt and just, yeah, the trousers. Okay, let's continue going through this. Once again, we're back to the Y Project and uh, Gosha Ruchinsky slash Balenciaga slash Vitmon. Yeah, it's just, Going through it now, it's just basic, basic, basic art, um, art streetwear. And before I, um, okay, no, this is quite interesting actually. This is, this top here, I like the shape of this. This is really, really interesting. I like how the sleeves cuff. Um, yeah, before I go into the next looks, on my last video when I was talking about like what I'm expecting from Fenty, um, a big thing that I did say was because Rihanna is not really a designer or anything, but she has this big platform, she could use it to hire really good designers that could work under her and make a really good collection. So to me, there's not really any excuse to produce such a lackluster basic collection. And also to all you Rihanna fans, well, I'm a Rihanna fan as well, but I mean people who are looking into buying some of this Fenty clothing. The cheapest item I think I read is 200 euros and that's for like a t-shirt. And the prices go up to like thousands. So psh, good luck with that. Um, yeah, onto the next looks. Okay, these are starting to look more interesting. So she's got a bun bag with a blazer and these trousers. Okay, this looks like the outfit as a whole, the way it's styled looks nice, I can't lie. Um, I can't really hate on that one, to be honest. Uh, now we're back to the Balenciaga. This literally looks like a carbon copy of this Balenciaga jacket. Um, yeah, just, nah. When I saw it, I literally thought specifically of the collection I'm talking about. And obviously I'm like rambling now, but I'll put up the fashion show I'm talking about. Uh, so yeah, just different colorways now. Oh, this is sick. This is sick. Finally, something interesting. Okay, let's see what she's done here. Let's... So it's kind of like a double shirt, 
but the shape is really unique. I'm, I don't think I've seen anything like this. This is a this is sick. This is so sick. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I expected from Fenty. This is the type of stuff I expected. This is actually quite sick. Yeah, what is this? It's like a, yeah, it's a double shirt. I wonder if you can like uh, button them separately. That would be quite sick. And then, okay. This is just a t-shirt, but I like the shape of it. It's like, um, it's wide, the sleeves are wide. And yeah, it's kind of like a baggy fit. But yeah, that is the first Fenty drop. So I did really like that shirt that had like two layers. That was quite sick. But apart from that, it's just, I wasn't really feeling the collection. It just looked like a Y Project, Vitmore, Balenciaga fusion. Um, but it was kind of like a watered down version of those brands. And there was some Gosha Rutinsky in there somewhere. It's just, to start a brand with LVMH and to release practically what I see on my Instagram feed from like streetwear brands every day is quite pathetic, to be honest. Um, and I know me using the word pathetic will trigger a lot of people, but I don't really care. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, I just don't get when people have platforms like that and they just release such lackluster clothing. Like, I'm just thinking of myself, like if I if I was at the head of LVMH or something like that, the amount of research I'll do to make the collection right and the references, man, I don't know. I don't know, man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think? Comment down below what you think of this uh, first collection. As far as I know, uh, the first pop-up is um, tomorrow in Paris. And then on the 28th or the 29th, I can't remember. Um, I really need to get my facts right. Um, that's when it's going online actually. So yeah, I'll be looking forward to that. That will increase the buzz around this whole Fenty brand. Um, but yeah, it is quite pricey if you're looking into getting it. And as far as I know, I haven't seen any men's wear yet. I've only seen women's wear, so yeah. And on that note, like this video if you liked it. Comment down below uh, whether you liked it, whether you didn't, and obviously if you want to, justify why you like it or why you didn't like it. Um, if you like to talk about fashion, I have a Discord chat and the description to that is, and all the information is in the description below. The same thing, people always messaging me on Instagram, um, what camera equipment do you use? It's in the description below. So um, yeah, on that note, follow me on Instagram at The Fashion Roadman and stay tuned for another video. Um, there's this tee, which it's not um, an artist picture tee like the rest, but it just has like a quote to this one obviously says your daddy is a snitch. To this one obviously says your daddy is a snitch. To this one obviously says your daddy is a snitch. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>